Okay guys, so here we are at my garden. I've got here all kinds of different peppers. Each of these beds has a number of different varieties in it. And today, here's the one we're talking about. This is the Cascabella. I've talked about it a fair bit. Um, I like this pepper because it grows quickly and produces a lot of pods. I've already harvested probably two dozen off of this plant um, and uh, they're a really good just general eating pepper uh, you can put it in salads you can put it uh, you can make sauces with it um, it's a really hardy plant the leaves are kind of small as you can see uh, it can really really handle um, heavy weather so uh, in my part of the world I live in uh, southern Alberta uh, Canada uh, we get um, strong winds we get hail we get uh, uh, heavy rain. Uh, right now it's been, today was 38 degrees Celsius. That's 100 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you in the U.S. Um, blazing sun. There hasn't really been much for clouds over the last few days. Uh, so uh, this plant is very drought resistant, very heat resistant. Uh, it's still, like I say, producing a lot of pods, you know, compared to some of the other plants beside it that are, you know, there's one pod there, maybe two or three, but this thing is just covered in pods and flowers, and uh, so yeah, if you want a prolific plant that produces peppers that are delicious, um, this is definitely an option for you. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab, I think we'll take this one right here, and we'll try it. It's, it's fairly light colored. Uh, they will ripen to a red color. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's, it's small. It's got a bit of a hint of green still. That's about when these are probably the best for eating. When they're turning orange, they look pretty cool. And uh, they can go well in, you know, to add some color to your salad or whatever. But um, that's it there. So let's go inside, cut it open, just like Kangstar does. His inspiration for me to do this video. And uh, we'll have a taste, and I'll tell you what it's like. Um, they're not terribly hot. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a super hot eater like some of you guys. So here we are inside. This here is the Cascabella. Um, it's uh, considered to be a fairly mild pepper. Um, this one here, as you can see, is uh, fairly white. Uh, it will ripen to a yellow and then an orange color. And then at full ripeness, it's uh, kind of a cherry red color. Uh, they're most commonly eaten in this yellow condition. Uh, they make great pickling peppers. Uh, you can add them to things you're pickling and uh, they add a nice flavor. So uh, let's go ahead and cut this open. You can see how it is inside. So you can see there it's got quite a few seeds. Uh, let's see if I can get the focus here. There we go. So quite a few seeds. I can smell it now already from this far away. It's uh, uh, sort of peppery, a very slight floral smell. Uh, now most peppers I find that have a lot of seeds like this, um, they tend to be kind of bitter. These ones, the cascabellas don't seem to be too bad that way. They don't get really super bitter. And so there you can go and uh, let's give it a smell here. So yeah, it's got a sort of a floral smell, not very fruity. Um, as they ripen, uh, yellower and then orange, the fruity sort of aroma does uh, decrease and it becomes more of a, a pepper smell. Not like a green bell pepper or something like that. It's uh, almost more like a black pepper smell, if you know what I mean, like a, like a, a peppercorn aroma. Uh, so you can use it in cooking when you don't want to add kind of an odd flavor that some peppers ha seem to have. This will just add a nice peppery flavor. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, so give that here a we are, I'm about to test the Cascabella. And uh, it's got a lot of seeds. I'm gonna eat the, the entire pod, including all the seeds. And uh, we'll see how it tastes. I have a handy bottle of water in case I find it too spicy. I probably won't, but um, just in case. And for those of you out there who might want to try super, super hot, I can tell you uh, if you have vanilla ice cream handy, it is 
fantastic for cutting the heat of super hot peppers. So here we go. This is the cascabella and a quick taste test. Lots of seeds in there, juicy. Fairly thin wall. The heat is very manageable. <clears throat> so, initial flavor is um, peppery, like black pepper, like peppercorns. Um, the heat started to develop immediately. There was almost no delay at all in the heat. It, um, I felt it right away across the roof of my mouth and spread across the sides of my tongue and to the back. And then the, I swallowed and the initial shock of swallowing this pepper always sort of makes you feel like you have a dry throat. Um, just briefly, <clears throat> makes you feel like you have to <clears throat> clear your throat like that. That passes quickly. And then you're left with um, uh, a lingering sp mild spiciness similar to uh, peppercorns. Um, and there's a very slight hint of um, kind of a, a sweet floral. Uh, it's not very strong, but it's kind of pleasant, and I think it would go well with a um, like a white wine. You could easily use those peppers in a salad. Um, once they turn yellow, I can tell you in practice they get significantly hotter. They can be shockingly hot sometimes, depending on how much you've tortured your plant. Uh, and then once they're red, they're not really very, very pal palatable when they're red. They tend to dry up and shrivel quite quickly. Um, but yeah, the heat is almost entirely gone. You just have a lingering warmth. I could easily eat a plate full of those. But remember, this one was just white. It was uh, they, they tend to start out a little bit greenish, and then they turn... Uh, a white color and then they go orange, sorry, yellow, orange, red. Um, and uh, yeah, a delicious pepper. I highly recommend people grow them. Uh, very hardy. They can, the plant itself can take an amazing amount of abuse. Uh, I can't tell you how much uh, it surprised me when I planted these ones. I Originally, I, when I first started out growing peppers, I didn't know the difference between a uh, cascabel and a cascabella. I didn't realize they were two different peppers. A cascabel is uh, uh, a round um, uh, pepper that dries and holds its shape when it dries. And then when you shake it, it rattles. And that's where it gets its name from. I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say something like um, child's rattle or something like that, or rattling ball or something. Uh, this pepper is a cascabella, and uh, it's a, a, um, a capsicum annuum. Uh, it's rated on the uh, Scoville scale somewhere in the range of 1,000 to 2,500, I think. I can tell you in practice that once they've turned yellow uh, and a little bit beyond that, they can be significantly hotter, especially in your overwintered plants. If you bring them in uh, and continue to harvest peppers uh, the following year, they tend to seem, to me anyway, a lot hotter. And um, yeah, so Cascabella. Highly recommended. Tastes like pepper. Goes amazing in chili. Uh, you can use it to make sauces with without too much heat.